Hey guys, my name is Only Unknown, and today basically I'm going to be showing you how to break into a base using IEDs and H1Z1. This works on metal bases. So basically, what you're going to want to do is probably make yourself about 15 to 20 IEDs for the first metal gate, which uh, you can see us doing on the screen right here. Uh, I have it sped up in some parts, I'll let you hear. Uh, but for some reason, it didn't work in Sony Vegas the first time, so I had to render it out in Movie Maker, and now it, and now it works. But uh, if there's anything wrong with the video, that is completely my fault. But basically, I'm going to be bringing you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to break into bases using IEDs. So the first thing that you want to gonna do, like I said, is go get yourself around 15 to 20 IEDs just for the first metal gate. Uh, if you want to do it a different way, you could probably make yourself a metal foundation or a metal shack and build over into the base uh, to get into the metal doors, because metal doors are easier to actually break into. All right, so after you blow into the base, the next thing you're going to want to do is find out what room you want to break into if the base has multiple rooms. As you can see here, me doing, I'm looking through, I'm kind of glitching through to see if there's any chests to break into. This is a good way to find out which room you want to break into. Uh, it's kind of a glitchy way to do it, but it's probably one of the best things to do. Yeah, that does. Hey, don't stand there, you're gonna die. <laughs> Funny, he just exploded towards me. <laughs> hey, I said, man! <laughs> oh my god. No, but damn, dude. Alright, so after you figure out what door you want to blow into, all you're going to need is about 8 to 15 more IEDs. And then again, just like blowing into the metal gate, you're just going to place the IEDs right outside the door and light them and run away. Do not do what my friend did and stand in front of the base because you will die. I don't know why he did that. But uh, if this helped you guys in any way, make sure you leave a comment. And don't forget, if you have a car with you, make sure you bring that along for the adventure because it's going to be a lot easier to throw stuff in and you can just carry a lot more loot back to your house. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more tutorials like this, just leave a like again. Share this video with your friends and uh, yeah, bye-bye.